Gute and welcome to this short technical walkthrough where I will show you how you can remove Koki TTS or at least Koki TTS models for whatever reason. Maybe you would like to have your system nice and clean or you would like to get some disk space back because each Koki TTS model, obviously depending on the model, takes around 500 megabyte up to 2 gigabytes. And in addition to that, I will include two bonus tips. On the one side, how you can use config JSON to make small modifications on Koki TTS models and where you can find a list of download URLs for each Koki TTS model. And the topic idea for this video is based on one comment by Ara the Pro. So thank you all for your comments. I'm reading all of them. Thank you a lot. And um, so as you can see on this specific example by Ara the Pro, on this channel, your dreams can come true. <laughs> and after a little bit of magical fairy dust, let's go into the topic. <laughs> Before I'm going to show you how you uninstall Koki TTS models, if you have watched my other videos or follow my journey for a longer time, you probably know how you install Koki TTS. If this is not the case, I will add some links to videos on how you install Koki TTS in the description box below. And as it's normal in every cooking television show, I already prepared something for you. So I'm here on my Ubuntu Linux system and I've created a Python virtual environment, as you can see on this Koki TTS prefix here. And in this Python virtual environment, I've installed the latest Koki TTS release, which is 0.13.1. So first of all, let's get a list of all available and maybe downloaded TTS models by running TTS with the command line argument list models. This will show a complete list of all Koki TTS models. So really a long list. And as you can see, for example, uh, by my uh, German Thorsten voice model, there's this hint called already downloaded or here for the voice encoder. So we have models that have been downloaded. Download will automatically happen if you run TTS or TTS server process with a model that has not been downloaded yet. Where do we find this model files? Obviously, this is changing on Windows, Linux or Mac OS. On Linux, all the downloaded TTS files are in your user home directory. So let's go into my home file. So home Torsten voice in this case, then um, dot local, then share TTS within your user home directory dot local share TTS. And here you can see a list of TTS models you have already downloaded. And we can take a look on the size. For example, let's see disk usage for my TTS German Torsten Tachytron DDC model. So we see around 500 megabyte for this model. And if we change into that directory, so let's go into this one. You can see not just the model file itself, so the, the actual model, but you can see the config JSON. And here you have multiple parameters that can be adjusted, but a small warning, most values are linked to the model directly. So if you change the wrong key or the wrong value, maybe the model will not be usable anymore. So maybe ask on the Koki community on which parameters you can change on an existing model. This is the first bonus tip. And if you hear about a config JSON in the context of Koki TTS, this is the place to look for it. By now, Koki TTS does not offer a command line utility to remove downloaded models. So if you would like to remove an existing or a previously downloaded model, you just have to remove that specific model directory. So let's give this one a try and go back in the main TTS folder. We can see, for example, that we have this TTS models, EN, so the language code for English, LJ speech with Nian model. If we run TTS with that list models argument, we should see that this model has been already downloaded. 
So let's scroll a little bit up and we can see number 14. So TTS models, English, LJ speech with Neon already downloaded. So number 14 has that already downloaded hint. And now let's remove this directory, TTS models, English, LJ speech with Neon. So directory is gone. And now let's again run our TTS list models. Scroll up to number 14. And as you can see, the hint saying already downloaded is missing now. So this is, at least in my honest opinion, the best way to remove Koki TTS downloaded models. And if you are on Windows, the path is obviously another one. So if you are on Windows, check your local drive C, then users, your home username, app data, local TTS. You won't see this app data folder when you do not enable to show hidden files in the Windows Explorer. And if you are on Mac OS, so please check then the path slash users, your username, library, application, blank, thank you Apple for that, support, slash TTS. And as you might already know from my previous videos, I always like to install Koki TTS in a specific Python environment. Um, as you can see by this Koki TTS prefix here. And if you would like to remove Koki, so the binary, the package, the Python package, not the model, then you just remove the complete Python virtual environment. Before showing you the last bonus tip, I would like to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos for giving feedback giving a thumbs up and uh, obviously subscribing to my channel. This is really highly appreciated and helps me and this channel a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I will show you how you can get a list of all download URLs for Koki TTS models. So for that, let's open our browser and hop on to GitHub Koki AI TTS repository. Ah, by the way, Congratulations to you frog people and great community. Koki TTS has reached 10,000 stars on GitHub. And uh, now let's take a look to the repository. And in that TTS subfolder, there is a dot models JSON file. And this file contains the same list as you can see on the command line side here and uh, split up in the language code and the list of available models for that language code. And for each model, you have this download URL. And that's mainly it. I hope you liked it video, you found it helpful. And I wish you all a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye.